personal consideration paid for by the following. Hello and welcome once again to another quick shot review. It is that time of the week again. It is Tuesday and we're coming at you with another movie review. This week is Oppenheimer, a film about the man and his team that invented the atom bomb. It is a film with a lot of visual effects it is a lot of film it's very it's a film that's very visually stunning the musical score is fantastic and as you can imagine with the director as you can see on your screen being Christopher Nolan a lot of money was thrown at this film stars Killian Murphy as Oppenheimer and there is a cast of who's who's throughout the film that play key roles in telling the story so join me for the main part of the podcast to find out my thoughts on this film As mentioned, the 2023 film Oppenheimer is a film about the man who invented the atomic bomb, the atom bomb, a man who, with his team, split the atom, creating a an item, shall we say, of great power that they could literally hold over the whole world and potentially blow everybody up just by dropping this spherical thing that would potentially have perpetual reactions when it was dropped because of the splitting of the atom. And that is how atoms work. Um, with that perpetual reaction, you could cause a lot of damage. And that was the key role in the World War, of course, World War Two over um, over Japan and Germany. It changed the course of history. But one thing I would say about this film is that there's a lot of filler and it's a three hour runtime and that filler doesn't always necessarily hit the mark for me. Um, it does score very highly and quite rightly so. Like I say, it's a Christopher Nolan film. There are people that are going to love this film. And it follows the story of J. Robert Oppenheimer, the American scientist, as he, like I say, invented the, um, the atom bomb. The cinematography is beautiful, as you could imagine, with a Christopher Nolan film. Uh, best known for his Batman trilogy. Uh, his most recent film before this, I believe, was Tenet. And that was 2021. And a lot of people love that. I did not. And uh, sadly, it's the same with this one. I uh, would encourage anybody to go and watch it. It's an interesting story. I just feel like a three-hour runtime was perhaps a little bit too much. It could have got down to the nitty gritty of what we all wanted to see um, a lot quicker. Uh, like I say, it's very stylized in the way it delivers this. It shows all of the parts that came to be when testing it. The moral dilemma. You know, you, you are going to have something that is capable of vast destruction... Um, you know, capable of killing mass, masses of people. And 
should one person hold all that power? Should one country hold all that power? Well, the answer is they did and they used it. And that moral dilemma is explored throughout the runtime of Oppenheimer. But it's not, for me, explored enough. There's a lot of scenes with Killian Murphy and Emily Blunt um, doing their thing, being married and having kids and him being away a lot. Uh, you've got Matt Damon in there, plays Leslie Groves, Robert Downey Jr. playing Louis Strauss, Aidan Ironreich playing Senate Aide. Um, you've got uh, quite a few other big names. Kenneth Branagh is in there as well, uh, as well as plenty of others throughout. And there's even a part where Einstein turns up in this one as well. So, yeah, it's over the top in runtime. I feel like if you've got a three-hour film, you could probably cut a few bits out and be quite happy with that. Um, but really... Could I say that they should have? Yes. Could they have actually done it? Probably not. But that, to me, made it quite boring. And from what I'm hearing from people, you know, talking about it at work and discussing it with others, it seems to be the standard with Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is a very serious film. It deals with a serious subject in history. On the other hand, you've got Barbie that was released and that is just making a killing. It is so bright and colourful, whereas this is really dark and black and white. You've got two ends of the spectrum. So one group of people is probably going to go and see Oppenheimer. The other group is going to see Barbie. The group like me is going to go and see both of them and make my thoughts um public like I'm doing now like I said I think this film deserves its plaudits but for me I found it quite boring at times and it's very rare that I find any film boring especially when it's dealing with this kind of subject matter but I yeah the last couple of Christopher Nolan films have not hit the mark for me they just scream of, hey, look, it's Christopher Nolan. He's already got a cash pile of money. Let's throw him some more money to make us another film. And um, although it's, you know, it's raking it in, it's not doing as well as the fun movie. And I think in 2023, people want fun movies. You know, we've seen Mario this year. We've now got Barbie. Um, you know, nostalgia is good. This is nostalgia in a different way, um, you know, but it, for me, it could have been a little bit shorter. But that's my opinion. And like I say, I encourage you to go and watch this film because it does deserve your viewing because you may find it much better than I did. And that's the subjectiveness of going to the cinema. I can put my thoughts on a podcast for you to listen to. If you are listening to it, thank you very much, by the way. But at the end of the day, they are just my thoughts. And I wouldn't want to discourage anybody from going to see a film if they so wish. Um, so, yeah, that is, they, they are my thoughts on Oppenheimer. It's good visually. It's got a good score. Um, it's really well made, it's got a great cast and I just feel like some of the cast get lost in the shuffle at times with with this one and the overarching story gets lost in the shuffle as well so yeah, it is what it is anyway, we're going to go on to the next film which is Barbie, of course you know, the film that I've already mentioned we've got to go and watch Barbenheimer as it's being dubbed. And yes, I do have 
a fleck of pink on the t-shirt I'm planning to wear for that performance. We've also got Talk To Me coming up, a new horror film that is coming out. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I'm really looking forward to. That is my nostalgia break um, for this one. And uh, lots of other things happening as well. So, hope you've enjoyed the podcast. Hope you consider subscribing and following us. And I will see you next time. Or listen to you next time. I don't even know what what to say anymore. Anyway, enjoy your movies. Let me know what you think of this film, Oppenheimer by Christopher Nolan. And get the conversation started. I will see you next time. Goodbye.